。二零一五年嘅第一条题目啦，就系、是、做配对啦。今次咧就想配对翻咧耳仔嘅结构同埋佢哋嘅功能啦。咁啊，呢条题目都非常之直白噶啦。咁啊，一三年、一七年咧都有一啲相关嘅题目啦，都系做翻配对嘅。咁啊，耳骨啦唔使审啦，就系、是、去传送同埋加强翻嗰个震荡嘅。咁啊，将个震荡传去边度咧？今次佢冇问嘅，咁啊传去我哋嘅 over window 轮圆窗啦。跟住啦，就去到耳咽管啦。耳咽管呢，就係想去平衡返喺個耳膜嘅左右兩面嘅氣壓嘅。直接係想去平衡返個耳道同埋個中耳之間嘅氣壓啦。咁呢幅圖呢，就係講緊啦，當架飛機起飛嘅時候呢，當我哋越飛越高喺個耳道，即係連接住大氣嘅壓力呢，就會相對上低咗。咁相比起中耳呢，中耳嘅壓力呢就會大一啲，所以啦，我哋個耳膜呢就會拱咗出去，就令到我哋聽嘢呢就冇咁清晰嘅。咁啊，當我哋打喊路嘅時候呢，耳咽管呢就會容許到喺中耳嘅氣體呢就出返去，就容易就令到耳膜嘅左右兩邊嘅氣壓呢。就一樣返啦，跟住扭到第三啦，就係耳窩啦。耳窩入面呢，就有感覺毛細胞，就能夠去感應返喺個內淋巴嘅震盪，跟住將呢個震盪呢，就變成神經脈衝。咁所以答案呢，就係 D 啦，將震盪轉化成為神經脈衝。咁剩低嘅 B 同 C 係咩結構呢 b 咁 B 呢，就係耳道嚟嘅，就將聲波呢傳遞到去到耳膜嘅位置。而 C 呢，就係、是、耳膜啦，就將聲波咧轉化成為震盪咁啊，因為佢係一塊薄膜啦。咁啊，當聲波撞落去嘅時候啦，佢將聲波轉化成震盪呢，就撞落去個耳骨嗰處啦。好，又嚟到一點出發啦。今次呢，就講耳仔結構功能呢，就冇得走雞㗎啦。下次呢，就可能問下你適應性特徵啦。另一個啦就係聽覺啦。嗱，上一年嘅長題目呢，你個眼睛接收到個影像，跟住轉化成神經脈衝，從而呢，就將個信息傳去視覺中心之。之后啦，你点样为之睇到嘢呢？咁而家都一样噶，你点先为之听到嘢呢？你个感受器接收到由耳仔听觉神经传嚟嘅神经脉冲啦，咁你点知道佢系一个冷钟声啦，佢系电话声啦，有人叫紧哈佬啦，有人叫紧救命啦，你点知道你听紧啲乜嘢呢？就系、是、透过你大脑嘅联合区域去将你啲收翻嚟嘅信息。救命啊！哦，救命啊！诶，边个讲救命啊？即系就去到个听障啦。咁啊，今次就系讲紧啦 ，disease approach 睇病学摆我啦。今次咧就做 matching 啫，下次咧可能都照样做 matching， 不过就系问紧你啦。以下边个结构系受到破坏，从而你就听唔到嘢啊？将耳仔嘅功能咧就同日常生活拉上关系啦。例如啦，就系、是、当我哋感冒嘅时候，点解我哋听嘢较为难咧？因为我哋嘅耳咽管咧就俾啲黏液去塞住咗，就令到中耳。同埋大气之间嘅压力咧，就唔能够变得一样啦。咁啊，因为耳咽管塞咗嘛，空气咧就唔能够进入中耳或者由中耳离开嘅。咁所以我哋个耳膜嘅震荡咧就会受到阻碍啦，就冇过往咧震得咁明显啦。第二啦，就系、是、当我哋长时间接触一个好嘈吵嘅声音，就会导致到我哋聋咗。咁究竟系我哋嘅耳仔？边一部分受到噪音所谓破坏呢？原来啦，就系破坏咗我哋耳窝入面嘅感觉毛細胞。咁好多同学呢，净系写啦，破坏耳窝咯。咁但係耳窩入面嘅感覺毛細胞先係最重要啊嘛，咁呢個呢，就係導致到聽障嘅其中一個原因啦。咁對於仲冇其他原因啊，當然可以有嘅。一個人俾啲撞親，可能撞親個腦呢，腦嘅感受區域或者聯合區域，佢哋受到破壞啦，其實都會令到你嘅聽覺受損嘅。咁馬虎啦，你個耳道俾啲耳屎塞住咗，你個耳膜穿咗，如此種種，都係導致到聽障嘅原因。Two one five question one is about the ear. We need to do the matching between the structures and the functions of the ear. So you can see in the MC question two one three one seven we have the similar question. So first of all, the ear bones. The function is to transmit and amplify the vibration to the over window. This time it's just talking about the transmitting the vibration. But maybe next time it asks you for the short question. It asks you that transmit the vibration to where to the over window. Secondly, for the you start. To it equalizes the pressure between the middle ear and the atmosphere. So that's why we have the simple example is that the eardrum will bulge outwards when we are on the plane that is taking off. When the plane is taking off, we fly up higher, higher, and higher. The atmosphere pressure will be lower and lower. So it will be relatively lower than the air pressure in the middle ear. So for the eustachial tube, for example, when we are yawning, the air will come from the middle ear through the eustachial tube. 
to your furnace. So that's why it's a way to equalize the air pressure between both sides of the eardrum. And then for the cochlea, it contains the sensory hair cell to detect the vibration. When the sensory hair cell are stimulated by the vibration, we convert the vibration to the nerve impulses. And the nerve impulse will be sent to our cerebrum, the sensory area along the auditory nerve. So what about B and C? B is the auditory canal, direct and transmit the sound wave to the eardrum. Part C, which is the eardrum. The sound wave arrive the eardrum, the eardrum can convert the sound wave to the vibration and transmit the vibration to the ear bones. So for the curriculum mapping, this question it asks about the ears, the structures, the function, and maybe next time it can ask you the adaptive features, and maybe next time it can ask you about the hearing. How can our cerebrum sensory area cooperate with the association area for us to generate the hearing sensation? There is a sound wave converted to the vibration and detected by the sensory hair cells, and the nerve impulse is transmitted to our cerebrum, to the sensory area. We hear that beep boop beep boop beep so but what is beep boop beep boop beep boop what's the meaning of this it needs our association area for us to analyze that what is the meaning of beep boop beep boop beep boop we need to recall the past experience or what we learned before to know that oh it is an ambulance for the next level of this question is talking about the deafness so it's the way of the disease approach so for example it can ask you we may have difficulty in hearing when we have a cold so what is the reason behind that? The reason is the eustachial tube may be blocked by the mucus. Therefore, the pressure between the middle ear and the atmosphere cannot be equalized. As a result, the vibration of the eardrum is hindered. So for the daily life case too, exposure or prolonged exposure to loud sound may lead to deafness. So which part of the ear loud sound damage? And we need to recall the sensory hair cells in the cochlea. We cannot just talk about oh, the cochlea may be damaged. That should be the sensory hair cells in the cochlea. They are damaged and it may need to deafness. And there are some other reasons leading to deafness. For example, someone are locked by a car and there may be brain damage of the man. So for example, the sensory area, the association area may be damaged. It can make someone lose the hearing or the auditory canal is blocked by the ear wax, or the eardrum is damaged. There are some other reasons leading to the deafness. We can learn it by the disease approach.